So how important to you is it to have a female-led superhero film like this, especially in the current climate of like Me Too and things like that? Um, I think what we're really talking about is just like representation and, and diversity being on a big screen because when I was growing up, before I could afford to travel anywhere and um, I was also kind of a loner, movies were the way that I was able to view the world. They were like windows. It made me understand what other countries were like, what it was like to live other places, and also like all the different ways that you can be a human being. So for me, part of my like life's work, I think, is to just add more variety to what that experience on screen is so that more and more people can feel like they're being seen. Yeah, and obviously, the, there are two directors for this film, one of them's female. How important do you think it is for more, there to be more female directors? Like maybe next year we might even have a female director winning an Oscar maybe, <laughs> you know? How important do you think it is for young girls growing up to see that women can direct movies and be seen as important like that? Well, yeah, I mean, what we're talking about is like in every industry though, like we want to see more representation and more equality across the board in like every in every position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are barriers that we just have to break. But I feel encouraged. I feel like it's it's starting mm -hmm. it's starting to happen more and more. Yeah, definitely. So throughout the film, you're constantly being told to not let your emotions get the better of you. Um, is that something you've had to deal with a lot during your career? Not let. Well, I mean. <laughs> my job is yeah. to be emotional, <laughs> yeah. so so I don't know. It's I have definitely had moments though where mm, maybe you do an audition and and you get more emotional than what the scene called for. Okay. Um, but I think for me, what I love about that aspect of this movie when it comes to the emotions is emotions to me are like a gut check. Mm -hmm. Emotions are intuition. Emotions are like the thing that's underneath the surface, and I do think that there's a lot of pressure to deny that part of ourselves and to kind of fall in line. And I am curious to see what would happen if, if more and more people could have, you know, a better inner dialogue with themselves and that inner voice. Yeah, definitely. So we've got our first female Doctor Who and there's always been talk of a female James Bond. Would that be a role that you'd be interested in? I mean, really, it always depends on the script for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to read it. Finally, what do you think was easier, beating up a grandma or beating up Jude Law? What was easier? Yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, well, it was on a moving train. It was easier. <laughs> it was pretty hard to beat up the old lady just because my heart broke a little bit. Yeah, right? <laughs> it, was, it was a little hard to do. Yeah.